at uh, day five of framing. I'll show you what we've done today. Uh, most of the day was spent uh, kind of tying up some loose ends here on the ground floor. We've got shear walls in. And the shear walls, what they do is they help protect the house from moving that way. If there was an earthquake or something like that, those walls will keep the house solid. You can also see all of my sheeting is done on the outside. We come up the stairs by code we have to have rails put in so we have our rails in now which makes it a lot safer for everyone walking around here it's a big drop off down those stairs so you can see we've got good rails in there now uh, you can also see shear walls up here so this will protect the house uh, laterally again strengthens it up makes a big difference actually we like to do that as often as we can and there's a pattern for actually nailing the shear walls you have to have a number of different nails at the edges and a number of different nails in the field. Makes it for a strong wall. And with all the bracing up here, you can see that all of our top floor walls are now, or rather second floor walls are now all level and straight. We've got our plate plastic in up top so we can run that insulation through and uh, keep the vapor barrier intact all the way through. And uh, that's that.